<clears throat> All right, day 12, here we go. Okay, so it's a grid. I like to reach E. So it's a height map, okay. A is the lowest and Z is the highest. Okay, so I can just compare as is. Marks for current position. Current position is S, okay. Let's do this. and the target is going to be E, and E has elevation Z. Few steps as possible. You can go up, down, left, or right. At most, one higher, okay? Make all height zero. Okay, that seems good. Um, and I think we're just going to do BFS, right? Um, yeah, pretty much. is we will say I think this is right and if we're also going to check if the height of nx and y at most one higher so if this new one, uh, minus one, our current height has to be at least this. Then we can move here. Um, and then finally, we're gonna check the new dist. It's gonna be the dist of CX CY plus one. If the new dist is less than the dist of the new point, then we'll do this, and we'll update it. Um, and if this seems reasonable, um, what didn't work here? Let's see. Seems right. What happened? Just of oh, whoops. Um, also, this seems to be, what am I setting it to? Uh, what, this is the first 10 lines. Okay, so what's happening here? Um, oh, wait, no, this seems fine. I have a bug, let's see what's happening. This will happen 
if our current position is at least the new position, minus one, the new dist is, oh, whoops, it's because I gotta set the dist of the starting position to zero, 350. Rank 23, steps required to move from any square with elevation A to the location that should get the best signal. Um, okay, so we are just gonna resolve this question. Um, let's see, what do we say it was? 41 and 81. And everything we're going to start at SX2 and SX, SY2. We see this, we're going to break. Be a little slow. Um, I don't want to do this anymore. Okay. Uh, I also need to do and finally I need to check uh, if if g of sx2 sy2 not equal a. This could be a little slow, but I think it should finish, like, reasonably fast. Rank 29. Okay. Whew. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm uh, finally getting both parts on the leaderboard again, 23 and 29. Um, yeah, that's a total score for today of what, 150? Yeah, I'm happy with that, for sure. Um, tentatively 11, but I'm probably going to go down a little bit because there's some people below me who are probably have not solved yet. Cool. Yeah, this was absolutely the worst way to do um, <laughs> to do part two. Um, I'll like, mm, I actually like even reread in the whole input because I uh, I thought that uh, it would be like annoying to make sure that my grid is not changed. Um, I guess that's actually not a problem. I probably should not have done it this way, but but it worked fine. Um, I guess even just doing like this would have been like much better, um, just because S doesn't change anywhere. Maybe it's not that much better actually. How long does it take to run? A couple seconds? Maybe like five seconds or so. Um, cool. Whew. Well, that's uh, that is day day twelve, and that is our first. Uh, graph type problem of the year, BFS for this one. Uh, search in a grid, so cool. Nice, um, let's see, what did I wanna do here? I guess I wanna clean up the code just, just a little bit. Um, I guess something I can sort of do is I can say if, uh, if it actually was the real starting position, then uh, let's just print the answer. So that should give us the answers for both parts. Come on, there we go. Cool, nice. Um, of course, the proper way to do this question, um, I, I did the proper way for part one. For part two, the proper way is to go in reverse from the end. Um, because now it says like there's a bunch of possible starting states. Uh, you're allowed to start anywhere with an A. Um, and so really what you want to do is you want to like start the BFS from E and then go outwards until you see, um, and until you see any A. And once you see any A, you know that you've, you've reached it. Um, basically because it's like, it's much easier to check if your goal, if your current node satisfies like a goal condition than it is to like repeat the search for many different starting points. Um, another trick you can do is you can like, you can make some sort of meta starting location that is connected to like all the actual A's in the grid. And that also will work just fine. Um, 
Uh, I think the way I would do that here is I would like, I guess I could just add every location that begins with an A to this to this queue, um, and that has like the same effect. Yeah, I, I didn't really think of that. I think that would have probably been faster to write, definitely faster to run. Um, I didn't think of that. I thought immediately that going backwards from E would be the efficient thing, and um, just repeating the search for every A in the grid would be the uh, the slow but easy to write thing. It probably would have been easier to write this. I actually want to see uh, how, what that code would have looked like. Uh, let me save a copy of this as the original. And then this would be my experimentation. Um, so let's see. We can reinvent all this. Get rid of this. Um, that's fine. Um, let's see. And so I guess part one was this. Oops. How many twos left do I? I don't think so. This is part one. Um, and I guess a trick that we could have done here, uh, change this to set our distance mapping to zero for all these locations. This shouldn't change it, still part one. Um, and for part two, we change it to be this. Um, and this will just be cool. And that'll let us start at any of these locations. Um, and this should just give us, yeah, nice. And that's <laughs> that's really fast. Um, so part one, and then like part two. Cool. Um, well, I guess that's it for today. Um, I don't know. Today is like a little non-trivial. I could explain it a little bit more, but uh, I have work tomorrow. I kind of want to get to sleep. So I think I will call it here for today. Neat. If people are interested in seeing an explanation, um, just say something in the comments and I can like maybe make a separate explanation video. I, I didn't really explain the early days um, because, because like they were very straightforward if you knew how to like program and parse input. Um, some of the later days are not so straightforward. Uh, I think I started giving some explanations in my videos, but then no one really watched them from like the watch metrics. Uh, but if this is something people want to see, I can definitely start writing them back in again. So uh, j just let me know. I, I don't want to like give an explanation that no one's interested in seeing. Cool. So that's it for today.